Today we're going to be reviewing each, uh, printer transfer rollers. We'll go over removal and installation of the typical transfer roller and go over the most common types, care and troubleshooting. Uh, for this we're going to use the 4015 HP device as our demo machine and we are going to approach it from the front, open the toner access door, remove the cartridge, and we're going to open the replacement roller. We'll go over what typically comes in there. You'll have a blue t blue pick, which is basically a curved piece of plastic that helps in the removal. And then you have the replacement roller itself. So the pick, you'll go on the left side, hook the metal axle, pull straight up, and then pull out from the right. Now on the replacement roller, you want to prep it beforehand. Just pull that piece of paper so it's up and it makes it easier to install it once it's facing the right way. And you'll pull straight up and you can see it center line printer. So uh, now the reason why they do this is uh, they don't recommend any, um, any un open hand touching of the roller because the contaminants on your, your fingers can damage the roller. And uh, that's the typical installation. So what the transfer roller does is it sits in the printer and is, is responsible for attracting toner uh, toner from the cartridge drum onto the paper and it uses electrical charge to attract the toners. So the, uh, the these are transfer rollers are considered consumables. Uh, similar to an automobile tire, they have a lifespan. Once spent, they begin to show all sorts of problems. Two of the most common are faded print and gray background. Um, now as far as care and cleaning, it's not recommended you use any type of liquid or a chemical to clean it. Uh, it's simply use a towel dry uh, or even a dry paintbrush to wipe them down or, and, or even using compressed air uh, that works well to blow them off. So these are the most common transfer rollers out, out on the market right now. The first two are a 4200, 4250. Um, this is the kind of pick and hook removal type and you can see one that is uh, fresh out of the box and one that is well used. And uh, next is a P3005. It's got the spring on top there and this uses kind of a tension clip relief. This has a nice amount of wear on it and uh, s similar tension relief on the back end there. Next is a secondary color uh, laser printer transfer roller. It's a more of a uh, click and place. Um, you can see the front and back, similar click and place style. And then finally a Lexmark, very popular Lexmark T630 4050 transfer roller and it uses a uh, Corona uh, roller as well that sits on top of, uh, of the transfer roller once the cover is closed. And uh, these, all these rollers are available at Metrofuser at metrofuser.com.